Hey guys, what are you guys doing today? This is the Bipolar Express. Well, let's get a good shot of that. Hey, mister. What are you guys doing? What are you doing? Yeah? That's um, our, my snake. My daughter named it Sophie. This kitty? Yeah. Kitty, kitty. Your kitty. Yeah. I don't get to get much videos of him. That's, uh, like I said, Sophie the snake. Let's see. Oh, scared him. Her. And here's... Here's, uh, my daughter named this one too. His name's Leaf. Um, maybe like Leaf Erickson. <laughs> they explore. This is a Chinese water dragon. The, uh, the snake is a, uh, Ple Pueblin milk, milk snake. Um, it's got some cool colors on him. On her. Take a look at him. Really don't know if it's a boy or a girl. Never found that out. Um, uh, one of the cats. Let's see if we can find the other one. Huh? How about that? And right back there. Oh. Here's little kitty kitty. You can't really see her back there, can you? <sighs> and the uh, the cat's names are Sophie and Sparkles. So Sophie's a real popular name with my daughter. I kind of let her name uh, pretty much all the animals except Riley. Um, came up with that name. Um, because that's how uh, what her name was before um, so we just did that so um, today we're just gonna be going out for a walk with Riley and maybe stopping by Sonic to get something good to drink later after the nice little walk uh, she's outside right now playing in this hot weather so she'll probably come in for a little bit and then, so yeah just doing that trying to give a new format to these videos uh, so just doing some new stuff and really uh, just doing some new things. So I'm gonna go outside. Out on the deck, here's my backyard. Look at that grass, all brown. Let's get in the background, all brown. And then here's Riley. Say hey, hi, Riley. Sit down. Good girl. So. Yeah, just uh, gonna be making a video. I know I haven't seen you guys in a while. Um, you know, just, and hopefully getting some more videos out uh, soon. And trying to do this a once a week thing. Yeah, you wanna be petted. Yeah, yeah. Say hi to the camera, Riley. Say hi. Let me see. Yeah, ah, ah, good girl. All right, it is warm outside. You wanna come inside, Riley? I agree, even if... Uh-oh. Now he's gonna get the kitties. Alright, so that's the backyard. Excuse the uh, the kitchen flooring and stuff. Uh, we're getting a new floor put in. And just slowly doing that all by myself. So, that's just something that we're doing. And most of the trim in the house is off too because I've been slowly putting it back together. Um, so that's just what we're doing. And basically, uh, yeah, this is what my uh, setup looks like for editing these videos. And here's where I spend most of my time when I'm off work. Where's Riley? Where's, oh, she's going back to the kitchen and get some more water. Yeah. Oh, they're drinking that up and that's where the, where the cat normally chills back there um, just so a friend at work can see it here's the uh, the racing rig with the cat on it that's uh, my setup right there play some uh, Gran Turismo on on the PS4 with it and some other racing games uh, I like to delve into the racing for the part time. Maybe I'll put some videos up there of me racing in it. So yeah, today, like I said, we're gonna go out. I'll record some more. Record a video in the uh, 
we'll make this video into like a two-part series one in my house and one uh, while I'm driving as it's been a while um, I was just going through some things it's been a few months since I posted anything um, kind of just wanted to give you guys an update on how things are going um, I had to get my meds readjusted and all that because basically I was feeling like a zombie in my own body and uh, that's why meds are so tricky um, it seemed like it was working for a while and then I just found myself not wanting to get out of bed um, having a lack of energy at work and just needed to go back um, to the doctor and find out what the heck was going on. So I did that, and I mean, in the meanwhile, between these videos, um, I just couldn't. I didn't have any ambition to go out and make videos, so I just figured I'd give you a short little video today. Actually, I don't even know how long it's going to be. Um, got my dog Riley with me. We're going to go just out, maybe drive a little bit, have some fun. Um, I really don't know what we're going to do. Um, but I just wanted to get out and make a video because I haven't in a while and the last time I did I, I gained a bunch of uh, new viewers and I feel like I let all them down and all you guys that were um, here from the start just kind of fell off the map and I don't know what happened so uh, I'm just gonna drive and talk and we'll see where this goes Sunny today, but hot today. 93 is the temperature. Feels a little warmer than that. Glad not to be at work though. I just got off of work in seven days straight, so I'm trying to make this video in between um, going back. I only got one day off. Got to go back tomorrow. But I'm ready for it. I'm feeling a lot better um, in the past month or so, and feeling like I can tackle some new things working on my house recently uh, trying to refinish the kitchen and refinish a bathroom um, I don't really refinish them just more like updating the the floor and then some new paint and a new sink in the bathroom um, and some other little minor stuff mainly in the kitchen uh, I'm just doing the floors and the walls uh, not really doing messing with the cabinets much because I don't plan on staying in this house forever uh, I actually need more room so eventually this house will get sold so I'm just updating it to uh, more modern looks because it was built in the 80s so some of the stuff in there is kind of old and outdated but not really dropping a whole lot of money into it just enough to just where I can sell it whenever I'm ready for that um, I don't know if that'll be anytime soon or not what do you think, Riley? Should we stay at our house? Yeah. Uh, what are we going to do today? I don't know. I'm going out later today. This is actually kind of a different video than most of my videos. Um, kind of just wanted to give you guys an inside look on instead of me just talking about stuff. And I don't know, just a different kind of video of me just talking about how things have been going and stuff like that. But there's not much that's been changed except uh, mainly my mood. My mood was the mood was okay before. I mean, I had the uh, this camera's not wanting to stay in position. I gotta go get some new mounts for it. Uh, so sorry if it bumps around a little bit. But that's just gonna happen this time. Um, I need to get a sticky mount for the car so it doesn't bump around because I plan on making more videos in different areas so it just gives you a, a different background instead of me just sitting in the chair and talking. Uh, I just feel like that was kind of boring to watch really. Uh, instead of me just going out and do, doing stuff and talking. So I think that's how I'm going to go out here with my videos from now on. <coughs> you guys get to see Riley a little bit more. She's a little bit rambunctious in the house, so I kind of uh, let her outside when I make my videos because 
if I don't, she'll just want to play all the time. Uh, in this video, I do want to give a, a big shout out from a friend from uh, work. Uh, he pushed me to do something the other day that I normally wouldn't do, and I knew what the outcome was most likely going to be, but it was just trying to make myself go outside of my box and try to do new things. And you know, after I did it, even though I knew the end result wouldn't want to, wouldn't go in my favor, uh, I felt better. I felt better about doing it, and I just noticed that the mic's in the way. You know, I kind of just wanted to ask you guys on what kind of videos you guys would like to see from me. Um, I'm willing and open to, you know, talk about anything, uh, any topics. If you guys want to know more about me or more of kind of what my situation entails or what I'm going through, I'd be more than happy to answer any of you guys' questions. Uh, and maybe we're going through some similar things um, or have gone through some similar things. And I don't know, I just kind of want to make this channel um, what it was meant to originally be and uh, more of an open communication with people going along with the, with, uh, the same thing that I'm going through and try to reach people that maybe just need a little bit of uh, encouragement to get through just the next day. Uh, I know I for sure needed it from some people uh, last year and just a couple months ago. Just the, that little bit of an encouragement saying you can make it through maybe even just the next few minutes. Uh, it helps out a lot just to hear that you that you have uh, enough of ability to make it through whatever life throws at you. Um, life can be tricky at times. It can be a pain in the butt, especially if uh, you got outside forces um, to deal with. And sorry if this video is a little rough. I'm not in full video mode yet uh it's like i said obviously you guys know it's been a while since i put out a video and um uh, i don't know how are you guys doing um you know leave a comment down below uh just tell me how you how you've been doing what you've been going through maybe uh if you don't feel comfortable talking about it in the comments section, my emails on the info tabs on YouTube. Um, maybe, maybe I can help you guys out a little bit just by talking. Um, that's what this like I said this channel's for was just to have maybe an open line of communication for somebody that's struggling. I mean, I'm no therapist by no means, but I feel like just talking to somebody may make a world of difference, and not even. Not even if I give you any feedback, just having that open ear just to listen might help somebody out. Uh, I know certainly it did me many a times to help me out uh, a lot. Uh, I got, I guess I should tell you guys that while I was away, I was also diagnosed with ADHD. Uh, and that was one of the reasons why my meds were off because the first time around they didn't diagnose me with that. Uh, so I was get, I was attacking the bipolar, but I wasn't attacking the ADHD part. So the meds were off because of that, and that just if you're not the way the my psychiatrist explained it to me, if you're only attacking one, the other one's gonna make you feel worse. But not really worse, just it's just gonna it's you're not attacking both of them so you're not gonna get anything done you're gonna solve one problem but you're still gonna have a second problem um, so he, he said you gotta attack them both at the same time to get to the optimum level of what you want to achieve and I get that and I understand that it just like any kind of other med changes it just sucks that it takes so long to uh, find those things out, get those things figured out, and I, you know, it's not on the doctors, it's really, um, they, I know why they, they be careful on what they prescribe and stuff like that, because mental health issues are so hard to, so hard to diagnose, you can't, you can't 
give a test and say, oh, okay, you have that. No, they've got to watch you for a, a couple of times, ask you how your mood's been, ask you how you've been, you know, in the past few months, and watch how it changes because you can't just, you know, like you would check your blood pressure and you can't do that. You can check your blood pressure and the doctor can say, hey, you have high blood pressure. Maybe we should look into that. Maybe I can give you some medicine for that. You can't do that with mental health issues. You've got to get to know the person. Um, it's more of understanding the emotional symptoms. It's just so much harder to, di to diagnose. It's amazing um, how far we've come in physical health. And we're so far behind on mental health. It's, it's so sad. Um, there's a lot of people out there that are struggling and they can't get the help that they need. And and it's just not fair to most people out there that they have to deal with these things. And I know it's not all 100% medication, but sometimes you just need that medicine to help you get over that hump. Uh, you can do all the therapy that you want, but if you don't have the meds to help you out, it's really hard to put those therapy skills to, to work. We'd love to keep doing stuff strictly on bipolar, but um, there's a lot more mental health issues out there, so I wanna talk about some other things that are going on because when I was at Cottonwood Springs, not everybody there was dealing with the same thing that I was, and I know this is a bipolar channel, but I wanna to touch on some other mental health subjects because um, not everybody's going through the same thing and somebody that's interested in this may be going through uh, something a little a little differently than, than what I'm going through and I would it would make me feel like I wasn't reaching as many people as I could so I want to be able to reach as many people as I can uh, to just help anybody I can out you know, even if it's just in the smallest way of helping them get through one day. So just remember that the ups and downs, they do come. Um, but no matter what you're going through, the world can't be perfect all the time for you. I know that. Um, and you already know that, I know. But I just feel like I must say it again, that you can make it through anything that you try to do. All right, got the cherry Coke. Tastes great. Got the Riley, the water. Drink some water, Riley. Yeah. Make a mess. Yeah, there you go. Get it all over the place. Good girl. Thank you for drooling all over the seat. I do that sometimes too, though, right, Riley? Okay, maybe not. <laughs> To the house. Um, if you like this video, like it. Uh, if you like what I'm talking about and what I'm doing, um, subscribe. If you're new to the channel, um, check back in a week and I'll probably have another video out. And if you're new to the channel, check out my other videos. Maybe they'll help you out a little bit. You know what? Thank you guys for watching and I will see you guys next week.